Hey guys, I am making another YouTube video at your request of how to get this Polaroid camera to work with the Impossible i3 batteryless batteryless film. Um, this camera, I made, made a separate YouTube video of exactly how it worked. I didn't show you how to do it. So now I'm going to show you how to take this camera apart and there's a couple things that you need here. This is the cameras aren't the easiest things to take apart and put back together. Here are some things that you're going to need for this project. To actually open the camera, you're really just going to need these few things here. Just a regular old screwdriver. I prefer using the knife. So you know what, actually I won't use the knife because most people just have a screwdriver or they have some sort of um, flashlight too to look in there. You might not need the flashlight. All right, so first things first, we're going to open this guy up. Don't leave any film in there. It's not really necessary. <laughs> I would um, use up all your film first because it's going. you're going to have to get in there and it's going to um, develop your film through light, which is not going to be good for you. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take off this top piece here. This is the first guy to go. Now it doesn't disc there's two tabs here. We're gonna pop they gotta be popped at an angle here. So can I go in? Pop one at a time. Make sure one is out like this. Make sure it's all the way out before you take this one, because you're gonna put a lot of stress on these tabs here. And you might end up breaking it. So I take one out, you can kinda I think pop the other one out to some extent. Yeah, see how that... Okay, so that wasn't too bad. This time we're going to take off the front panel here. This whole front section, this gray section, is a completely different piece. A lot of these 600 cameras, they may look different, they'll have different colors, but the, the, if the general structure is the same, this is how you take it off. It's actually quite easy here. If I recall, I think the only thing I really did was Come in here, pry a little bit. Oh, nope, that's not what I did. Okay, you pry a little up here. No, you don't. Pry back here. There you go. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so you take this this part right here, right where you took this um, flash bar off. Get in there with your screw, screwdriver a little bit. Pry gently, just a little bit, until you can see there's a little hole in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. This little hole right here. All right. So there was a tab that was stuck in there, so now it's it's out. On this side, we do the same thing. I'll try with my left hand to show you. Okay. So now you can see the top is coming apart here. Now we got to get the bottom off. The bottom has two tabs, one in here and one in here. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier. We put this in here. We just pry out a little bit. You don't have to go hard on these things. Do the same thing over here. Here is the front piece, the whole thing. So there's one, two, three, four tabs on this thing. This, don't touch the glass here. You don't want this. Uh, actually, mine already has spots on it. Don't touch that. We'll leave that over there for now. Uh, now we have... Now we got some things. At this point, you got to be very careful about some of the things that you do. Things start falling out. If we open this, you'll find that this guy just, if you pull it hard enough, it'll come right out. This guy comes right out. The spring is separate. Do your best to not lose this spring. It's going to be very difficult to find a new one. So keep it on there. I mean, I don't even know if you want to try and glue this thing or something to keep it on for good. We'll put that right there in our, uh, actually we'll put our parts pile over here, okay, so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, we're going to open this bottom piece. Alright, so now we're just going to pull this section off. Pull it like that. There we go. Now you notice there's a couple pieces that came out. It was just this guy I showed you earlier.
This guy I showed you earlier with the spring. Make sure the spring stays on there. It fits like this, this little piece. And these go together. So you push this one down when you're taking a picture, or you can push this for flash. So non-flash, you'd push this one down. So these go together. I try and keep them together just so that like, you can remember that they stay together. And this guy is the little button for the lever. You put it it's down here, and the bottom comes out for you to put your film in. Pretty important little guy. So what is that? Including the spring, that's four pieces. This is just a cover. I won't call that. But there's four little pieces. You got your cover. You have your insides of this thing here. You hear that click? That is what takes your pictures. Or at least the actuator to take the pictures. Alright, so you got all kinds of stuff in here. For the most part, I'm not going to touch anything. You can see these contract strips are really... Um, I bet on most digital cameras now, they're incredibly fragile. But this thing is like really intense. I probably shouldn't be touching it with the oils on my skin. So try not to touch these things. Don't do what I'm doing, at least for that. But I am here to show you how to turn this guy into a camera that doesn't that has its own separate battery pack like this. One more thing here. There's a there's a little lever. I'm going to show you. There's a little lever that you can push and it opens this. So right now mine's locked. The um the eject, the film eject, it's locked. So I need to unlock it by pushing this little tab. And there it is. It unlocked. The tab is in the tab is in this little spot here. You can kind of kind of see him in there. All right. Here up in oh, I'm close it again. But. All right. This is the one part that you really need to be careful about. Do not touch that mirror. That mirror is what projects the image that the lens is, lens is capturing onto your film. Again, do not touch that the mirror that's in there. See that? Do not touch that. These are the two tabs that these are the two tabs that the film holds against and it, it, it draws power from the battery from the, the original 600 film. The tabs you can see follow all the way back here all the way back to right here. You can see you might be able to see that but I put a little solder on here because I took mine apart so I could show you the right way to do it. Uh, I did not put that tape there but I'm gonna leave it. Alright so these guys these are the guys that we're gonna tap into. This one's the positive one. This one's the negative. These are the tools that you need in order to solder leads onto the camera. You need two, your wire, your positive and your negative. Don't try not to use the same color red, it gets confusing. Always try and use red as positive and black as negative if you can. We have some solder here. We have our battery pack here. So this is so it holds four AA batteries at 1.5 volts each. That's the typical for each AA battery of voltage. You're also going to need some wire strippers to strip the leads on these guys, on the ends of these things. Um, I would recommend that you get a decent soldering iron. You can use basically whatever ones you find at um, the, the electronic store or on, or on Amazon. There is no requirement to wear glasses, but I've got enough crap in my eyes over the years that it's absolutely priceless to get glasses. It's only a couple bucks. You look like an idiot, but hey, whatever. You're sitting in your own home, and you're going to have eyes at the end of the day. Sometimes the solder can pop up. If I am first going to solder a little bit onto this guy here. You can see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can put a light on some, some of this shit. All right, little. 
a little solder onto this guy here. Okay. Any time now, my guy. Okay. Get our little wire. Nice, good. Okay, don't do what I'm doing here. Make it nicer, make it nicer. not beautiful I'm sorry if anyone's cringing at that I'm actually cringing inside just so you know that is uh, definitely not as good as the original that I just had to cut off to show you okay let's do this one here this one already has some solder on it so I'm probably just gonna, just gonna use the same one if I can don't touch my other wire here melt the solder melt the solder Add a little bit, I guess. Come on, get in there. There you go. I really got to work on this, huh? Well, I guess if anything, find some confidence in knowing that a complete hack can put this shit together. They're probably not as bad as me. I'm just going to clip some of this excess trash off here. looking pretty but hopefully you can see all this I wish you couldn't see it but you can all right so I guess that's good enough that's good for now so we got our leads if we hook this up to this battery if we hook this up to this battery pack right here if we wanted to I mean there's no reason why it wouldn't um, why it wouldn't work so I put a hole in here so that I could put my battery pack here kind of like carry these wires around or something and those wires these wires can, can come up through this hole they're gonna come up th through this all right we have our cables through the hole it's time to put this beast back together Flip this whole thing over gently, fold this back. This has to be open, this bottom piece. So, first thing I like to do first is line up this guy with its little home in here. So, we'll line that up first, kind of. Right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. That's going to be a pain. Oh, alright. It wasn't too bad. So I'm going to hold him so he doesn't do that again. Alright, you line it up with that guy. Okay. So now it can't go anywhere. This can't get out. You're going to push it. There's a clip here. There's a clip here. Just the way that we put it together. You push these just in and it snaps. The whole thing snaps back in. You push all four corners. One, two, down here. Three, four. They all snap in. It's all together. This guy. Um, I just test everything once again before I go any further. That looks a little... Okay. Looks like... Looks like that's going to be okay. Test this. Okay, it works. Uh, now I will put this back together. Now this, these guys have little um, tabs on them. They slide in at an angle. The angle is going to be this angle right here. So you keep one side like that, one completely out. And I'll work on this one, try and pop this guy in. Here's the part that, this is the important part right here. It slides right into its little piece. All right, so now we'll do this side. 
and I, I just keep it at that angle if you can pull pull on it it's hard to do it with a flashlight in my hand now let's try this sometimes you need a screwdriver to help you out it snaps right back into its right back into its home Okay, stays up nicely. Let's see if I can see through it. Yeah, I can see through it. Everything works. Okay. Next step, I will show you what to do with these guys. Gonna cut my leads here. Then I'm gonna strip them. You know, for this wire, you don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to use something something large to carry high high amounts of current. Anything that's really drawn any serious current is from um, the capacitor to the flash, and that is already all taken care of in some aspect. I'm going to solder these, but I don't know if I want you to see them because it's going to be kind of sketch and probably not very good. See, I soldered the two leads from the camera that are going to this battery pack. I don't know if you can see it. I'll hold it as close as I can here if it focuses correctly. But there's the, the shrink wrap and soldered. You can use butt connectors. I just use solder because it's um, more permanent and it looks a little nicer. Uh, I have this double A, four AA battery pack here. Um, they're wired in series i think any four AA pack is going to be uh wired in series so that's um you don't really have to look that much into it just get one of these four packs with the, with the two leads that come off so you can solder something on and um what basically what this what this is is each AA battery is 1.5 volts now if you multiply that times one two three four batteries you're going to get 6 volts. 1.5 times 4 is 6 volts. That's exactly what these old battery packs that used to be in the, the film that Polaroid in Impossible Project used, used to be 6 volts. I take a battery out as like a um, precaution, but you don't, you don't have to do that. You can leave the battery in. I'm going to put a battery, if I put a battery in right now, this camera is going to run and run and run and run and run until it, and it would spit, well there's, there's no film in here. There's no pack in there. So it would just continue going and going and going. So I'm going to show you that for a second just so that you know what, what it does. And there it is, spitting out film as long as two. And it would just keep doing that over and over again. So the only way to do that, to fix it, would be to put, leave a pack always in there. This one doesn't have any film in. I'm going to put some film in in a second. I'm going to cut away and show some film. Actually, this camera actually is not taking shots but because um, I don't have any film currently. But I'm going to put in some old film of my motorcycle just so you can see that the slides come out, the, um, the pictures come out, and that this camera, this project actually works. So let's, let's try it first just to show, show you how this um, works. Okay, so what it's doing now, that spit out the dark slide. That would happen anytime you put a camera pack into one of these, the, the battery camera packs, the original ones, into one of these Polaroid cameras. So it kicks out the dark slide. That's the, the black slide that's on top of the pack that shelters this, this film from so it's not developed. Okay, so that goes out. So now you would pull it out here, and you're ready to take pictures. So we can, um, flash should work here. There you go. I don't know if you caught that. It spits out one picture. But because the pack is empty, it doesn't spit out anything. So I'm going to cut away now, and I'm going to take up pictures with already developed film. All right, guys, here we have the film in the pack. What's going to happen is this one's going to come out first as the dark slide, because this the camera sees this as a new pack now. So 
So it's going to spit this this picture out right here of my uh, motorcycle. It's all poorly developed. It's going to spit it out as a dark slide, right? As soon as I close this door, it's going to spit it out. There it is. There's my dark slide. Okay, so now I'm, I'm good to take pictures here. And that's it. It's as easy as that. It works. This is the film that is much cheaper than the original Polaroid film that is sold on eBay that's all expired now. It's also much cheaper than the Sun Camera 600 film, that Impossible Project, and now Polaroid, since they acquired Impossible Project. It is cheaper than that type of film by at least 2 to $3 per pack which is a big deal if you're taking a lot of this film. Some of this stuff can be 20 bucks, and I think these ones are like 17 or maybe even a little less. So I think it's a good savings. I hope you guys can um, understood that. If you haven't, um, comment, and we'll see if we can, I can help you out in any way possible.